Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made this animation in Cartoon Animator 5 and take a look at the new spring bones in this update. Big thank you to Reillusion for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link in the description if you want to try it for yourself. For this design, I was inspired by kites that have multiple sections that link together. I made this in Affinity Designer, and though you can add spring bones to your characters that are sectioned into layers like this, you can also use flat images too. This feature is great for adding extra natural movement to hair, clothes, and props, with presets that make it even easier to add secondary motion to your animations. So this is a transparent PNG, and I can drag and drop it into the project to import it. In this window, you'll want to select G3 Freebone Actor, and from here, the bone editor should pop up. If you don't have that, you can bring it up from the toolbar to the left. I want to move this box, which is the root, to the head of the wolf, since all movement will start here and then flow down the rest of the character. This positioning may be different depending on your design. I'll select the root and click Add Bone. I'll place the next points along the body at the start of each section with the final point at the end of the tail. Just right click when you don't want to place any more. If I then click preview, I can select the bones either on the character or the layer menu and rotate them. Twisting too much will deform the image because it is in a single layer and with this design I don't want to squish it too much. For something like this, I want the movement to be quite subtle and smooth. Clicking preview again will reset to the starting position. If you select show wireframe and test the density, alignment and expand options, you may see some clipping of your design on lower settings. Just increase it a little and this should fix things. Having lower settings can increase distortion in your design when you test the bone rotation. Distortion will be lower along joined areas if you have a sectioned character and not a still image. When I'm happy with the settings, I can close this window and go to the spring editor at the side. And this will allow me to add some secondary motion to the character without having to keyframe it myself. So as the head is the root or place where the movement will start, I want this first bone to be the parent in the group. With it selected, I can hit assign to group. If include child bones is ticked, this will add every other section that stems from this bone to the group. If you want to add bones individually, you can untick this. To create new groups, I can click the plus up here and change their color to make each section stand out. I can assign spring presets to my groups by selecting them, and depending on the motion you want for each part, you can have different settings if you want to. Hovering over the options, you can see a preview of what they're like. I think these are really good starting points, and I went with smooth for this animation. If you want to customize these a little, you can adjust the bounciness, speed, and gravity settings under property until you find something you like. Reducing bounciness will give it a slow-mo effect, while increasing will add a wobble to the end of movements, and after a sharp motion will take a tiny bit longer to settle into position. Adjusting gravity will make the design heavier or lighter, which is great for showing the weight of your character or prop. For this design, I prefer this to be somewhere in the middle. Finally, adjusting the limit angle can give you more control over the range of motion. These settings are very fun to play with, just be careful with some of the combinations you use, as having a high bounciness and low speed during preview may cause something like this. If you do want to start again, either selecting one of the other presets or turning the preview off and on will reset the starting position. Closing the spring editor, I can then go back to the stage and move my character to its first position on the canvas. To animate this character, I brought up the timeline and selected transform. Moving the playhead to any point in the timeline and moving my character will create a new keyframe. To get the timing I want, I will hit play and imagine the movement in my head, pausing at the points I want to adjust the position. If I scrub through the timeline, this doesn't look like much, but if I play it, the spring dynamics will preview. And while this is better, I want to add some easing. Just click and drag to select the keyframes, right click, and then choose transition curve from the menu. For this list of presets, I chose smooth, to make this a loop, I copied and pasted the first frame to the end of the animation. Currently, the project lasts a really long time, but I can change that by going to Edit, 
project settings, and changing the duration here. To save my character to use in other projects, I can select the content manager, hit save, and choose a name and asset type. My character will appear in the custom section of the content manager, ready to drag and drop into any other project I want. This icon here shows there are already spring bones applied, and you can test these features in other characters available in the content manager. Adding spring bones to new or existing characters is very simple but there are also pre-made bones available that you can add to your project. Double-clicking on the image will bring up the sprite editor and you can add, remove or replace sprites with your own designs or something from the content store. If I'd wanted to get this effect without spring bones, it would have taken a lot longer to keyframe this by hand. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to try this out for yourself, click the link in the description and check out this video to find out more about the new features in Cartoon Animator 5. Thanks again to Reillusion for sponsoring this video and I'll be back with another one real soon. Bye!